Well, guys, keep watching as I unbox this The Lost World Jurassic Park Roland T Ball Dart Vehicle by Kenner. And also, I go ahead and compare all my big Jurassic Park dinosaurs to the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Colossal T Rex by Mattel. Wow, it's gonna be awesome! Okay, guys, I am super excited today. Today I got a brand new Kenner toy that has never been opened. This is Roland Tivo and his Dark Vehicle, which stands for Dino Auto Restraint Transport. A trailer converts to Dino Transport and it includes an exclusive Roland Tivo. But uh, keep watching, guys. I'm going to compare this. Uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Colossal T-Rex to the old Jurassic Park. I love the old T-Rexes because they could swallow action figures, but this big guy could swallow 18 of them. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and open up this brand new Kenner, and then we will go ahead and compare the old to the new. So uh, I love the artwork and everything they did on these uh, older ones. You can see it says Kenner right there. Good look at the side. Over here you got a bunch of dinosaurs on the back. Those uh, top four I have. I've got that first vehicle on the left. I don't have the other ones. Uh, I have the two end dinosaurs here and down here have all four of those so I do have the majority of the uh, Jurassic World toys so if you want to go ahead and check out my playlist at the end of this video but anyways without further ado let's open this up I mean this package has been sealed for probably about 20 some years so Let's check it out. Actually, no, it hasn't been that long because it's from the Lost World. It's not from the original Jurassic Park. But Kenner toys have not been made in a long time. Here's the instructions on how to put it together. Here is, it could fold down. You put the dino in here and it will shoot out a missile. Okay, then you see here the exclusive Roland Tivo and all the parts here to put this thing together. Ooh, that's nice. That's a nice bike. And then part of the cage, some more of the cage. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy together. Okay, so here is our set all put together. And the cool thing about this set is you could use several different dinos of different sizes. Here we have the Baryonyx. So we've got him captured here. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. So here up front, you've got our exclusive Roland Tebow here. You can see he's got his hat, his vest. He's got bullets across the front. His legs move uh, about that distance, his knees bend his arms turn so he could ride the motorcycle really nicely but anyways let's go ahead and take a look at this motorcycle so basically this is a three-wheeler one thing I really like about this to fire this off you simply push the handlebar here and it fires the missile off with actually a very good velocity let's go ahead and put Roland over here in the front and then we're gonna go ahead and fire at him a little bit higher than was pointing there and BAM Down goes Roland Okay, so anyways, like I said, it is a uh, three modified three-wheeler you can see back here it says the lost world This is from 1997. So it is a 20 year old set uh, handlebars, big oversized tires in the front, military 
green cover, like I said, the Lost World over there. And then for the trailer here, uh, the, the Baryonyx is actually one of the bigger dinosaurs you could take on this. So, if you go ahead and lift his head up here, you could put his feet in this back section here. If you have a smaller dino, you would put him in the front section here and you would move the chains to this front part here. But even the Baryonyx works. This basically clips over his head like that and then his arms are chained to the side here. Here it says caution, step away. So it rolls nice and smoothly. Uh, the whole thing attaches, clips on to this piece over there. It's a good look at the back of it, the other side. And then here is a look at the bottom. There you can see it says, actually it says Hasbro. Actually Kenner was actually bought by Tonka in 1987. And then uh, Hasbro uh, bought Tonka in 1991. So that's why it has Hasbro and Kenner on the package. But one thing I would not like, I would not want the Baryonyx head that close to me. But anyways, if you put the dino in, it rolls nice and smoothly. You could drive around firing. Cool, that is an awesome vintage set. you are watching this video it is not the 30 the 20 year old Roland Tebow set but the big huge colossal T-Rex from Mattel so let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and remove Roland here we're gonna compare this guy to some of my favorite Jurassic Park dinosaurs which one of my favorite is this chaos effect old T-Rex which I mean this guy could pretty much swallow his head I mean just about check that out I mean that is one huge one and this bull T-Rex is a big dino guys I mean this is the one I used to feed all my action figures too because this guy uh this is the original one that will swallow action figures so this is the chaos effect bull t-rex he will open his mouth way up like that and he will swallow full-size action figures which you could go ahead and take out of his stomach and then you would go ahead and take the action figure out of his stomach here so before this uh, colossal T-Rex, the bull T-Rex, I would consider that the biggest dino in the line. Let's compare him in size to the colossal T-Rex and he's going to look like a little child. Look at that size difference. I mean that size difference is incredible. I mean the uh, Mattel one is about if you look at the full size I would say almost three times the size of the bull t-rex and like I said the bull t-rex before was considered the largest one uh, one reason I really like the bull t-rex is he is all rubber follow full size action figures so let's compare him to some other Jurassic Park Dinosaurs. This here is the original Bull T-Rex. If any of you guys had like the Jurassic Park toys, that is like the first and the original one that came out. Entire body is rubber. He's got real glass eyes. Huge 
mouth. So once again, this guy could swallow full-sized action figures, and then you would pull the action figures out of his stomach. Roland is up. Roland is stuck there. Anyways, big slot on the stomach, but this guy, like the other one, he's about the same size as the Chaos Effect. You can see there, I mean, this guy just blows him away in size. And then I have this custom one. This was supposed to be the Gulper T-Rex, but this was one they never brought out. But uh, I found this one on eBay. A guy repainted it to look authentic, just like the one they never brought out. So once again, it's got the full-size mouth, the slit in the stomach for it to eat. Uh, action figures. But once again, this guy is tiny compared to the big Mattel one. So, and uh... You know, all of these guys, they have a hard time standing, except for one, which I will show you next. Because when you put, when you store them somewhere, their legs push together. So you have to put another figure between their legs to keep their legs spread so you could stand them up correctly. And I do not like that. Okay, then we have this bull T-Rex, which actually has movable feet here just like the Mattel one does. It almost seems like maybe Mattel got the idea from them. But anyways, this one was exclusive to Toys R Us and sadly guys, I just seen the news today. Every single Toys R Us is shutting down. I mean, I almost cried. I love Toys R Us. They had such a good selection of toys, so. I am really upset about that, but anyways, this guy can pretty much swallow his head again. Other reason I like this exclusive Toys R Us one, he had a bunch of different roars. So I mean that's the only thing missing from this big guy is roars and chomping noises. The only bad thing is he has the bull T-Rex head but you, he can't swallow action figures because his entire inside is filled up with a uh, speaker. And by the way guys, if you do like any of these uh, Jurassic Park ones, I do got full reviews of them. Wait till this video ends and check out my playlist. Then I, of course we've got this guy. This guy is my favorite. This is the animatronic. Spinosaurus. I mean, this guy goes anywhere up to $600 on eBay, but uh, he does have like different action modes here. If you push his tail, he'll lift his head and roar. He's got a wound here on the side that he'll like sort of squeak like he's attacked, and he's got a press point over there. His entire body is rubber, uh, real glass size, really authentic looking. Spinosaurus, and that's actually the biggest Spinosaurus you're gonna find. So I'm hoping Mattel will beat that guy too. But I mean, this guy will fit like all the way down the Mattel one's throat. I mean, it's this Mattel one is just simply incredible. But like I said, this Spinosaurus is my favorite. I love that. And then we have uh, another big one. This one is the, he's considered Red Rex. So he's all rubber. He does swing his head back and forth. Balance, open his mouth, he moves his arms. But anyways, this guy's one of the biggest ones too. And once again, compared to the Mattel one, I mean, you could fit his whole head down the throat. I mean, it would be like, I'm inspecting this guy's stomach for problems. So this guy would be like the dentist sticking his head down the T-Rex's throat. And then we have another big uh, Kenner one. Uh, this is the Thrasher T-Rex. He's called Thrasher because if you move his tail, thrashes his head back and forth and breaks out of his bonds. This is JP29, entire rubber. Uh, this one is actually one of the most authentic looking T-Rexes you're gonna get. Authentic looking teeth, 
tongue, eyes, everything. But once again, I mean, this T-Rex could swallow his whole head all the way down to his body. So here is a good look, size comparison. I mean, you, should, you can see the Thrasher T-Rex is tiny compared to them. And then we have the, uh, this would be the Demon Carnotaurus JP19. He is an entire rubber one. Uh, really cool looking Carnotaurus. This is one of the biggest Carnotauruses you're gonna find. But compared to this Mattel guy, I mean, he could almost swallow the entire Carnotaurus. And this Carnotaurus is probably my favorite one. This is the JP26 Carnotaurus. This is the Bone Breaker Carnotaurus. His action feature is if you stand him up, I mean, he opens his mouth to a freaky amount. It almost looks like his head is detaching from the body. This guy is like plastic and rubber. Ah, uh, this guy is really expensive too. But anyways, compared to the Mattel one, I mean the Mattel one could almost swallow him too. And here is one of the biggest Triceratops from Jurassic Park. This one has like the uh, action feature. He will lift his head. So if this one, he's also all rubber JP08. If this one challenges this Mattel one, he'd be like charging to get him with the horns and go right down his throat. <laughs> I mean, this guy would just snap his head right off and it would be over. So anyways, another really cool one. And then we have the Jurassic Park uh, Septlosaurus. This one is JP23, his action features, you can push his head down and have him butt something. So he would be like, he would butt the T-Rex and the T-Rex would just swallow him whole. <laughs> so that's uh, another cool one. This T-Rex is adjustable. And then we have another big Jurassic Park one. This is JP22. This is the Uteraptor. This is about the biggest Velociraptor I've seen. Uh, he does have the big third claw, which is adjustable here. But he also has a kicking action feature. If you push him here, he will kick his head forward. So it looks almost like he's attack attacking with third claw so if you put him down here and then but once again sadly he could get swallowed here we have the Jurassic Park Stegosaurus this is JP24 this is a big guy also action feature if you push his spikes here he swings his tail his tail is entire rubber this is another Kenner one this is probably the biggest Stegosaurus you're gonna find uh, most of his body is rubber, but when he came up against this Rex, he goes to swing his tail and the Rex just swallows his entire tail. And then we have the uh, Jurassic Park Young T-Rex. This one is JP06. Entire body is rubber. He is missing the wound piece though. So he could be the baby of this big guy or you know, if this big guy gets angry, he could just eat him if he gets hungry enough. And then I also have three of the big uh, Lost World Jurassic eggs with dinosaurs inside. So that egg would be about the correct size for this T-Rex. So if that's a mommy T-Rex, then you go ahead and crack the egg open and you have your cute little baby T-Rex inside being hatched. And then I have a bunch of the smaller Jurassic Park dinosaurs. Like I said, I have about 90 to 95% of the Jurassic Park dinosaurs and I have all of the Jurassic Park sets. So uh, if you want to check, wait till this video ends, check out the Jurassic Park one. But uh, this is like the Chaos Effect Velociraptor. This has like the bobbing head but as you can see I bet you this guy could swallow him down he could 
you could swallow him all the way down that's how small that one is and here's another one uh, JP 010 this guy's action this is the hugging one his arms actually move outward so he could give a hug but this guy could be swallowed also and then here we have a uh, JP 18 Velociraptor which I believe he has a bobbing head okay this one's action feature is actually broken but I believe uh, he would bob his head and open it but once again if this guy attacked the T-Rex down the throat so anyways guys that is the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Mattel Colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex or T-Rex compared to pretty much all of my big Jurassic Park dinosaur toys. You can see right there again how much he, bigger he is than the bull T-Rex. So this guy is the new king for size. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click like, drop me comments. Let me know what other dino battles you want to see. Uh, what uh, Jurassic Park Mattel dinos you want to see. Uh, Hasbro or Kenner. I do have over a thousand videos. The majority are Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, King Kong, Transformers, Power Rangers. But if uh, go check out my playlist on my channel or just go to the playlist at the end of this channel to get more Jurassic Park dinosaur videos. You guys are awesome. And I will see you tomorrow. And today's secret word is the word. Put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun video. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.